Hello, Johnson Hesp here. In this video, I'm going to be building a nuclear reactor, and thanks to Mumbo Jumbo for the concept and the guide. This was a build I thought looked really cool, so I built it. I'm playing in survival, so you won't see me flying around, and I had to gather all the materials I used. I should also say that my understanding of redstone circuits and builds like this in general uh, is not very good, so that's why I followed a guide. Firstly, I had to clear a space for it. The pit or area is 15 by 15 blocks and then 10 blocks deep. Once I had the area clear, I filled it with iron blocks. Then I put down sticky pistons in a 4x4 grid with spaces between each one. There are two sticky pistons on top of each other, as this build utilizes a double piston retraction. I then put slime blocks on top of the pistons, and then blue stained glass on top of the slime. The required redstone is then put in between the rows of pistons. I ran out of slime blocks here, so I put in placeholder dirt blocks, which I'll replace later on once I got more slime. After that, I then put iron blocks above the redstone. However, I didn't realize at the time that these need to be immovable blocks, so I replaced them later on with obsidian. In order for the double piston retraction to work, a staggered design is required here. In Mumbo Jumbo's guide, he calls it a waffle layout. Man, do I love waffles. Anyway, next I put down the repeater and redstone layout, which powers the pistons. This dictates whether the pistons are retracted or not. I once again got this a bit wrong, as my repeater settings weren't 100% correct. I did, however, eventually figure it out. This build also utilizes monostable circuits, with a piston that has a single block on top of it. Then I repeat this setup on the other side, but obviously mirrored. Now this is where I figure out that I done goofed. Putting down those redstone torches caused the pistons to fire, and it broke a lot of the iron blocks that should have been immovable ones. Like I said earlier, this is where I figure out that these need to be immovable blocks, and I replace them with obsidian. With those blocks replaced with obsidian, in theory, things should have worked. However, the pistons would fire, but I wasn't getting the double piston retraction. That was due to the repeaters being set wrong. Once I got that sorted out, it all worked well. Now for the pillars or rods between the pistons, I chose dark prismarine just because I like the way it looks, and these towers or rods are four blocks high. There is a layer of glowstone on top of which is redstone circuits, with pistons facing down to complete the lower piston setup. 
Again, I use blue stained glass for this. I ended up making another mistake with this glowstone layout. There is supposed to be another block on the end above where the switch is, but I forgot that, so that when this was done it didn't function properly. It was an easy fix though once I identified what it was. Once I got the glowstone layout correct though, the double piston retraction worked, and it is really, really cool. I really like it. Okay, with all of that done, it's time to put down the glass blocks. Some nuclear reactors are submerged in water, as the point of a nuclear power plant is to heat the water, which evaporates into steam and then drives turbines producing electricity. Water is also a very good insulator of radiation. So there's a glass and water layout which sits above the bit that I've just built. There's a pipe-like structure going up from the water and glass. This should be six blocks high, but for some reason I end up only making it five, which I fix later on. These are the pistons which will push the turbine. This setup is apparently called a piston feed tape, so yeah, that's what it is.
With the pistons set up, I had to put down the setup to power them, using repeaters and redstone in strategic places. There's also a section of zigzagging glowstone with redstone on top of it. This section required two sticky pistons facing upwards, with blocks on top of them, and two repeaters. Underneath the central block is a redstone torch, which triggers the pistons. Next to the redstone torch is a comparator and a hopper clock. The hopper clock needs one item inside of it for it to function properly, which I take out because I wanted to finish the build without the noise of all the pistons. Now for the final bit of redstone circuitry, just to connect it up so it'll all function when the switch is pulled. And now to test it to make sure that all the pistons are firing properly. Aw oh, yes, it works and it looks so awesome. The final part is to lay the blocks that are part of the piston feed tape. I liked the original design of alternating iron and glass, so that's what I went with.
So time for the first test of the final build. I also put some sea lanterns at the bottom so mobs wouldn't spawn down there, and I think it looks pretty cool. And it works. I love it. I do get a tiny bit of lag from it, but who cares, really, when it looks this good. I'm just gonna sit here for a few seconds and admire it. Thanks for watching, I thought this build was pretty cool, and thanks again to Mumbo Jumbo for the concept and the guide. I'll catch you later.